Uh, what's going on guys? It's uh, CV Sukiyomi and I have another Y Shorts deck profile. I have my Love Live uh, trial deck um, profile video. I'm gonna do. Uh, one thing I'll say right now that way, because um, I know I'm going to get hit on it in the distant future, is at the time this video is made, the only thing out for Love Live for the Y Shorts series is the trial deck. The booster box doesn't come out until late July. So all we have right now to work with is if you're playing Love Live, the only thing we have to work with is the trial deck. And I think the trial deck is actually really good. Uh, you only need to pick up two, and you basically get four of everything, uh, which is really good. And uh, I I opened up three, but you only need two. And I'll get on to what I've been playing around with and what I think is really good if you want to play the trial deck. Um, you can use some of the suggestions that I put in this video as some of your own ideas, and hopefully you can collaborate and make a really good deck yourself. Because I really like the way this is working out, so... And I put them in my Hamagami sleeves. I have Nozomi ones, I just don't want to use them yet. So I'll get onto this profile really quick here. So first off, we play three, Wonderful Rush, Honoka. It's your level three, it costs two. It's got a new mechanic, or a new ability that's um, basically new to the game. Uh, when this card is played, or it enters the stage, you can uh, search your library for up to one music character, music trait character card, um, which is pretty good because basically it allows you to get it allows you to get a plus one, uh, essentially just for playing it, and you can actually get out key pieces that you want, and you can kind of do some funny shenanigans. Um, at least I think you can because this is what I did one time for fun, just for just for trolling against an opponent. What I did was I played this here, and I used its skills. I used its skill, and um, I got to search for a music trait character, and I went back in my deck, and I got a second one, and I played the second one, and then I used the second one skill to search out the third one in the deck, and basically I have all three out at the same time, which I thought was kind of funny. Uh, it, it actually isn't that great of a play, um, but I thought it was really funny that I could get all three out at the same time. It, won't, it probably will not happen. Usually I'll have a different setup. Usually I have something like this because I usually don't have three of these in the in the in the library but I got a, I got this out like three times um, a field set up like this with them them in the front so it's pretty good um, but three only three Honoka because uh, you have ways of getting this you can you can uh, there's other cards in the deck that allow you to get them out of the waiting room if they are in the waiting room so I don't feel the need to play more than three I might try f I might go up to four. But right now I'm not so sure because I, I'm really finding three uh, to be pretty good. And I need some extra space to run some of the other key cards that I like. So uh, moving on to the level twos. I play two Wonderful Rush Coterie. It's a, a level two that costs two. And its skill is if this is in the center center stage, you get uh, it gets plus 1,000. So that's really good because um, basically if it's in the center... It's at 95, and if it's at 95, you can actually go toe to toe with some level threes in different series, and you really can um, apply some pressure to your opponent with this card. Uh, I do like it. Um, I think it's a very good card actually, and I don't. I, I like two just because um, you can always have one as a backup, or you can uh, pick one up. So it's actually a pretty good card. So I like this. I like two of these. Uh, next, I play two something 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 coterie it's a level two that cost one and its skill is if you have three or more music characters on the field uh this gets uh this gets a uh, plus 1000 so it's pretty good it's a uh, it can be a nine nine k which i do like i like it for the fact that it costs one and you can kind of sit on it and you it can kind of just be a wall for you or you can run over something that your opponent has that you don't really like uh, i do like it because it can kind of help you buy some time because i think um, just having a 9k kind of sit there at, at level 2 is kind of good. Um, so I use two of these. Uh, next I play two Wonderful Rush Hayano. Uh, basically this is like your level 2 assist card. What it does is it basically gives, I think it gives 500 um, to characters in the front row. Or no, it gives 500 to, I think, all characters. And then its other skill is it gives 1,000 to all front row characters. So I think it gives uh, 1,500 total to all your characters. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I think that's what it is. I can't remember right at the top of my head, but I think that's what it does. So pretty good. It's okay. 
Um, it, I, because I'm more used to playing Simpho Gear, it, the fact that it's just raw power is kind of lacking in my opinion because the Simpho Gear one allows me to uh, use it as a other other things and I can do other shenanigans. But uh, overall, not a bad card because it helps beef up your other cards. Uh, next, I play one Wonderful Rush Reen. I actually don't really like this card. It's okay, but it's not um, anything to write home about. Uh, be I only play one because I want to keep all seven girls inside the deck. I don't want to have any any of them being left out because I don't want them to feel sad. So what this does is it's a level two and it costs one. And you can pay one to give it an extra soul. Uh, it's not bad. It's actually pretty decent. Um, it can be 8k and it can have two soul. Not too bad, but... There definitely are better cards. Like, I actually would rather just play my... I'd actually rather play this because it, it already has two soul. And if it's as long as it's in the center, it gets plus 1,000. So in some cases, I think this is overall uh, a better card. But I want to keep all seven girls in here, so I have to play this. So just one. Uh, next, for the level ones, I play four Wonderful Rush Maki. Uh, basically, it's a generic 55.5k... Uh, uh vanilla no no skill or no ability so uh not bad they're easy they're good just because you can just play them for free and you know they're pretty stable they don't you know they're kind of hard to pick off but um you they, they you can get rid of them but i just like them because they're pretty consistent next i play three wonderful rush umi this card i love i love 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 this card i think it's a very very good what this card does is it's a level one that costs zero and it's got a skill it's got an encore where you can discard a music character card to uh, keep this card on the field or on the stage its second ability is you can rest two of your other characters on the st on the stage and you can uh, give this plus four thousand power let me make sure yes plus four thousand power so it's 45 base but if you give it the plus 4,000 power, it goes up to 85. For level 1, 85 is big. You can basically wall, you can basically get rid of your opponent's level 2s with this card, which I really like. Um, and the fact that you only have to ditch a card to save it is not bad. I mean, granted, there are some better cards, but this is actually a pretty decent card in my opinion, especially for um, being in the trial deck. I think it's very nice to have. And I, I definitely recommend playing 3 or 4 because I think it's a very good card. The fact that you can just get over things with this card is good. And you can keep it on the field and you can still constantly get over things is pretty nice. Uh, let's see. Then I play 3 Wonderful Rush Airy. This card is a level 1, 0 cost, 5 base. And what it does is uh, when this card attacks, you give 2 other characters 500. So that's actually a pretty, pretty decent card. Um, pretty decent skill i like the fact that it doesn't cost anything to play and i can give my other cards more power so i think this is pretty good uh and then next i play uh two umi like archery club umi i think it's a level one that costs one and it has seven seven k a, a base of seven k i think it's pretty good uh like i said i think um Kind of the reason why I play the red coterie level 2. I like the fact that you can kind of just sit on these and they can just kind of just stay there because they're kind of like a big wall and they can kind of get over things. Uh, it's not a bad card, but I don't I don't know yet if I want to drop it to play one of these and then uh, one more of these. I'm not sure yet. I might try that, but I'm not... I'm not 100% sure yet, but because I do I do like um, what this Archery Club Umi does. Just being 7k is not bad. I think it's decent. Uh, next, for level 1 events, I play, like, I don't remember the name, but it's basically a childhood Honoka climbing a tree. What this does is you can pay 1 to activate, it, uh, activate this event at level 1, and you can pick up a music character card from your waiting room and give another card on the stage plus a thousand power. I like this because it basically allows you to uh, salvage. So it allows you to get cards out of your waiting room. And I like that because we can get cards like this um, in case we need it. We can get cards like this in case we need to get over something. Um, it just gives you more access to resources, which I think is um, pretty good. I think it's like the closest thing we have to a searching ability in the love live trial deck right now so i think it's as good as you can get right now with this and giving the plus 1000 power can really help in some situations so i do like that
And then I play two backup assists, two Wonderful Rush Nozomi. Nozomi is my favorite character in the uh, Love Live series. Um, basically, you just pay one, and you can, uh, when your opponent attacks, you can pay one, and you can give them an extra two, you can give your character an extra 2,000 power. Um, basically, uh, if you're from Yu-Gi-Oh, it's a watered down Honest or Kalut. So pretty good. I do like it. And it, it does what it's supposed to do. It's just supposed to help you keep cards on the field and get rid of some of your opponent's resources. Next I play... I think this is... I don't remember the name, but it basically it's a two point... It's a level, level zero, cost zero, 2.5 base. And um, what happens if you play the Climax card, Wonderful Rush, you can give a card plus 5,000 power. I think it's either you give a card plus 5,000 power or you give this card specifically plus 5,000 power. Um, regardless, it's really good in my opinion because what this can do is if you play this, you give the additional soul to your characters and you can give them power, especially in the level zero game. You can, in your in your own level, you have level zeros that can actually potentially run over your opponent's level ones. So that's really nice. I really like the fact that this can help you get over um, your opponent's level one game, which I think is very decent. So play four of these just because I think they're pretty good. Um, then I play four uh, Wonderful Rush uh, Nico, and basically it's just a standard 3k with zero cost, so nothing to say there. And then I play three, I think this is a Coterie Daughter of Chairman or something like that. It's a 3k, but it's red and it's a zero, level zero, so uh, just they're just basically they're kind of to be beaters. Next, I play three, I think it's Exploding with Excitement Umi. Um, it's a level zero with 1k base, and what it does is it gives plus 500 to all front row characters. Uh, just a generic 500 assist. Not that great. Um, I wish it had a different, uh, a second ability like a Brainstorm, but we don't have any of those yet, so gotta make do. Uh, then I play one, uh, I think it's Honoka, daughter of a candy, daughter of a candy shop owner. Uh, level 0, 2k base, and what it does is you can pay 2 to pick up a card from your waiting room that's a music trait, a uh, character with music trait. So another ability to salvage, so I kind of like this. And then next I play 4 gates that give plus 1000, plus 1 soul to all characters. I like gates coming from Sinfo Gear. I think gates are really good, so I play those. And then I play 4 Wonderful Rush. Oops. Four wonderful rush gives plus two soul to all characters. Um, I, I play the four because um, I play four of these basically, and playing four of these, um, it, it just increases my chances of being able to hit my opponent um, a bit harder in the level zero game and potentially get rid of some of their level ones if they're in that position where they're playing them. So. Uh, that's my Love Live deck, guys. Uh, keep in mind, it is on the trial deck is the only thing released right now. So uh, hopefully this gave you some ideas on, as to what how you would like to make your Love Live trial deck um, fit better towards your play style. So uh, that's it, guys. I guess I'm done, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>